Hey guys, so I am in my new filming spot. This is going to be our office. We're still kind of getting everything organized, but behind me is my new shelf, as you can see. Got a hashtag up here. I have my Andrew McMahon CD that was signed when I went to one of his concerts. Um, and if you've been watching me a while, you know that I love Andrew McMahon, so I had to put him up here. And then I have a stitch. This was from a viewer. Um, and I think she has an Etsy shop, I'll try to link that down below, but that is Totoro, a mini little vase from World Market, and then I have this, this is from our wedding, and this is my grandpa, Alex, and myself, and as you can tell, we were having a pretty good time. I just have a letter board from Target, and I'm going to be changing this out here and there. Right now I just have hashtag blessed because it was like super quick to put up there. And then I have, this is from a local vintage shop. It's kind of just Mod Podge on and it says Grace, but I thought it all kind of went together and I might put like a little desk right here, a tiny, tiny one, because there's already a big one over here. But today I wanted to share with you my wedding dress and basically what I wore on our wedding day. Since I couldn't take you guys with me and I kind of just wanted to enjoy our wedding day without a lot of social media and cameras and everything besides the people we hired, I will start with what I wore in the morning and then I will get to my dress. I spent a lot on Etsy but it was for good reason for the decor and I got some bridesmaids robes and stuff like that but I was still budget conscious and these were only $15 and they're really like super silky robe. My bridesmaids were in blue and I decided to get white since I was the bride and it kind of is like a kimono in a way. I'll show you. It has like little peacocks throughout and bright colors and then it is really silky so I wore a tank top under this with some shorts and uh, it was super comfy getting ready because I just wanted to relax. The next thing I put on were my shoes and these shoes were so me. There's so many shoes out there that I could have chosen from but I'm not a heels person and I'm already kind of tall for a girl so I decided to get Toms because they're just me in general besides Chucks because I just have like wore them for so many years. So excuse how dirty they are, I actually didn't realize how dirty they were until I took them off after the night was over because we had just been like in rain and dancing and stuff but it shows that I had a good time. I will kind of zoom in right there you can see the dirt on the toe but these were the shoes I chose and you can tell that they were worn but um, I got Tom's and they were from Poshmark I didn't buy them from the actual Tom's website Poshmark is a great place to get deals I think they were like $10 off or something like they normally would but they had the tags on and everything and they were my size size 9 so those were my shoes for the day and this pattern actually matches the back of my dress, so I will show you that and you will kind of see why I put that together. Next is my garter, and again we had a lot of navy blue going on. It's one of Alex's favorite colors is blue, and I decided that blue actually like looked really good in the fall because at first I wanted purple, but there was something about blue that like drew me towards it. And at first I didn't think of this, but Andrew McMahon has a song called Dark Blue, so our colors were kind of dark blue and like gray and some ivories and stuff kind of scattered throughout and then I had a bunch of eucalyptus everywhere and stuff like that but it was totally us like how everything looked so here's my garter and again this does kind of match my belt and my dress in a way the detailing is really really nice this was from Etsy as well and I got another little one that he could toss and um, but I get to keep this one for kind of like a keepsake it is kind of heavy like you can see it kind of going like that but I just like the look of it and since I'm not a glam person this was like my one glam thing that I wore. Next are my earrings and I got these off of Etsy as well as you can tell I spent a lot on Etsy but this is for my wedding so I was like let's do it. So they are these really really pretty I will try to get a close up of these but really really pretty earrings they have like a little opal in the middle there's some round crystal beads and then some teardrops and it has a little bit of detailing near the ear as well like where you attach it and I just fell in love with these and I knew they were going to be in a lot of pictures so I wanted some that just looked like really elegant but still me and this wasn't too much for me I think these were like 50 to 60 dollars again not what I would normally spend but since it was my wedding day and it matched like my belt and everything I went with it. Next is my veil and Again, I'm a simple person. If you guys have been following me, you probably know I'm not like super glam and super crazy. So 
My veil was only like $20 since I got my dress at the place I got my veil, which I thought was like a really good deal. When you're getting married and you spend all this money and your parents help and everything, you need a break sometimes. So this is the veil. I will show you details as well. It has kind of like pearls and crystal beading and silver beads and it's all lined throughout like on the bottom and everything. The only negative thing about this is that these little beads and stuff kept, kept catching on the bottom of my dress since the bottom of my dress was tulle but I just didn't think of that. It's, I think they said this is one of like the most popular veils because it's just simple and it goes with a lot of dresses and that is what I did. So I'm going to keep this with my dress. I don't think this needs cleaned since it didn't get dirty and I took it off by the reception but yeah that was it and it kind of looked like, I don't know if I can do it without having my hair done, kind of. Okay well it, it wasn't like on top of my head but you can kind of see that it was like super sample. My dress, I probably only tried on five dresses, maybe like seven at most, I would say, but I kind of knew the moment I tried it on that it was like, this is my dress. I don't mean questions, like this is my dress. And the top is kind of like elegant and then the bottom is just really like flowy and classy kind of. I wanted something that was really comfortable. I should have sewn pockets into the tool, which would have been like a hundred percent comfortable but this kept me comfy with most of the night and it wasn't like too hot or anything and I didn't want strapless and I didn't want like super fitted so this was the best option. This is my dress and, and I loved the top lace I think that's what sold me like this pattern up here and then this belt didn't come with the actual dress we had to buy that at another bridal shop so I took my mom and my now mother-in-law and my now niece and we went and picked one out and I just loved how it looked. It was simple, nothing was like too glam about it and it made a statement on the dress and kind of changed the look of it a bit. But my favorite thing about this is the back, I'm going to try to get the detail, the back is a butterfly and it's lace and then you can kind of see through. So cups were sewn in for me in here, which was also comfy, and the back didn't have a belt or anything. It has all these detailed buttons that my mom had to button, and then the bustle is still in where you kind of lift up the dress, but this is all tulle on the bottom, which I really liked. I love this dress, and I hope to wear it again next year. See, it kind of oops out the bottom. I will show you how dirty the bottom is. Like, I'm not even kidding. I don't know if you'll, it'll be able to pick it up on camera, but look at that. Do you see that? That's like dirt and dust and like who knows what, like alcohol probably on there. But that just shows that we had a good time. I was so excited to wear it and I am just so excited to like preserve it and keep it because it was like literally the dress of my dreams. Like I had no questions about it and I only needed a little bit of alterations. It wasn't like an extreme thing. It was like a little bit taking the straps and cutting the length, but other than that, it fit perfectly. This is my wedding band on the bottom, which I haven't gotten it soldered yet, and then this is, of course, my engagement ring on top, but I wanted something, again, simple. I did keep my bouquet, and it is looking a little sad, but I plan to, like, preserve this in a book or something and then put it in something, not this whole thing, of course, because it's it's had its time. But I had eucalyptus in my bouquet, we had blue thistle, there was some baby's breath, um, oh, the roses were like big white roses, and then I had ivory baby roses, um, and then she kind of wrapped it with lace, and then I had my grandmother's crochet hook and a cross on here, and I just really liked how this turned out and looked. And it was just, it was actually like, it felt like it was like 15 to 20 pounds, which is, it might have been. But when I was doing pictures, I was like trying to lift it up and it was like a weight. So I was like getting a workout on our wedding day. This is his boutonniere. And as you can see, this is a pretty sad little guy. But this was a really big white ivory rose and some eucalyptus with some baby's breath. And it looked awesome. The other guys just had like the blue thistle 
and eucalyptus so he stood out a bit more. That is everything I wore on my wedding day. I hope you guys enjoyed and we will be sure to make more wedding videos and married life videos. We've just been so busy and trying to organize our place but we are getting there and I will get him to film a video because he is willing to be in any video that I film. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all later. Bye!